because I'm thinking about I'm thinking about me here in the sense of like digital assets because you now you got the store, you got you know the brick and mortar, you got your products, great known derm apparel. On the other end though, it's like I feel like we create something dope. Yeah, it's just something pulling me towards that. For sure, bro. You gotta be on YouTube. You gotta be on internet. Like yeah, you got to. Cause when I, look, I was like, first of all, well, you was dying when you hear that. <laughs> what? What? I was like, I got. I want. I want to do some shit till my kids can see me. Yeah. While I still got hair. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't, yeah, ain't going no, you already did it. Nah, nah, my hell ain't good. Why, that's what I'm saying. You ain't, man, we, 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 we gonna top. be ageless, you know man, time is body. You know, man, it's just what, so then I'm like, but then, now nah, you right, though, digital, though, you ain't got to work for that money. Yeah. Once you do it, yeah. you can repack and repurpose. That's what I'm, that's what I was thinking, bro. That's what, that's, I, I, intuitively, I've been feeling like, I'm right there. Like, yeah. about to crack the algorithm cold, like, and go, like, you know what I'm saying? I've just been, like, really focused on being consistent. On creating media, I know as entrepreneurs we know we have to create media anyway. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying, but like I'm ready to go to the next level for sure. I'm ready to go to the next level bro. for sure. You know what I'm saying, I and I know saying. we can do that like together. We it's inevitable. We're gonna oh, do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So we pose to them. Right. And the point of us have us, you know, two platforms that we build and not doing nothing together. And we, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying we all like I said, we've been doing each other out, but down the aisle a lot. Yeah, for real. You feel what I'm saying? So. Ain't no point of us just don't being separate on trying to get to the same goal and not, you know what I'm saying, right. helping each other. Nah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? And learning from each other because, like, you got stuff you're going to, you, I know you're going to teach me and I already taught me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and vice versa. So, like, bro, ain't no point of you having to go learn something I know. Is it, nah, facts. Because, yeah, absolutely. And vice versa. You know? Nah, yeah, you my reflection, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you my reflection for, for sure. sure. Um, so, with that being said, but what made you even want to get into entrepreneurship? Like, what made you even want to, like, what What was the first? I'm not, <laughs> like, I'm not doing this yeah, no more. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had me this morning. I was about to put on some, like, some other type brand. I was like, nah, I'm going to wear my shit. Oh, God. Like, that's, I, I was like, I'm going to wear, I said, I'm going to wear my, I said, I'm going to wear my. You got to. I said, I, your voice popped up in my head. I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear my, I'm going to wear my shit. <laughs> oh, God. Because, see, I'm going to tell you, bro, I'm like, when I first started doing clothes, it was just like, I wanted a Durham jersey. Mm. We ain't got no major sports team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, got, we got a minor league baseball team. Yeah. We ain't got no basketball jersey we can rep if we want to. I finally made one. Mm. That's how it all started? Yeah. Yeah. I made one for a music video. Talk the video. Mm -hmm. People seen the jersey. It was like, they want one. Now, how did you get that skill? How did, how did you just know how to... Fashion design and design clothes. Like, I've been doing that my whole life, though. Like, mm -hmm. it used to be funny. My mom and them used to be like, like getting on me. Like, my mom and them used to be like, well, what you wearing? Like, why do you have <laughs> like, like, what they, you yeah. have to put together? Yeah. Come home, the yearbook come out. I'm getting best dressed. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I ain't got, I ain't really have much. You feel what I'm saying? You remember we used to have home at classes and stuff? Yeah. They give, they give you, like, the coffee machine, you make pillows and stuff. Yeah. I used to take material out of there, cut my pants up. Because not having much, because you, because you, you're from yeah, the urban community, right? You know exactly. What I'm yeah, exactly. You know, coming up in Durham, like you yeah, know, yeah. You know, everybody, they, people, parents doing the best they can, mm -hmm. but the situations, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So at the time, you know what I mean? Stuff. I, I was still living my best life though. Yeah, yeah. You know through, through your creativity. Yeah. You, wow. For sure, man. So, you, so how old was you when you did that? Twelve, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Then me and my brother started doing puff paint on our pants. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Making character, cartoon, cartoon characters, Looney yeah. Tune. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to get Yosemite yeah. Sam and have some black and gold pack leather J's, the mm. ones. Mm. I made a black and gold Yosemite Sam to match on the jeans. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And this one white tees been so all right. big white tees. Yeah. With the with the pants, with the design. Yeah. And now I look back and I'm like, I ain't used to know it then. But that's when it all started for real. That's when it all started. You know what I'm saying? I can look back at them times now and be like, dang, mm -hmm. I always been making clothes. Would you say like it all like it felt like you always was just in you? Do you do, do you feel like some of it came from your artistry too? Like what you doing, writing and doing music? That yeah. was just a part of your creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I um and I 
work on it too though. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can give you a gift for no reason. And you working mm -hmm. on it by like one, like making stuff for yourself and yep. branding in your yep. like that's and how just, you express and, it. And keep getting better at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I spent hours on this stuff. I ain't like I said again, I ain't know it at the time. Yeah. I spent hours on this stuff. I used to mm -hmm. get out of school, you know what I'm saying, and go home and just work on pants all night. Damn. I used to bleach jeans. Yeah. All the stuff they doing now. Yeah, people really getting paid on the internet on. Yeah. If I had the internet back then. You been was doing you was doing that. Right? Wow. For sure, I got pictures of all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff we, we was making. We, we, was, we was doing this stuff on boots and everything. Right, right. Um, but then I knew I was a businessman, though. Yeah. Because my mom used to give us like $5, $10 to get our hat. This one's for hat, that's $5. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I'm I remember them days. But we only can get them every two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm like, I can save that money. Yeah. Wolf. I learned how to cut hat. Mm. I was cutting with everybody in my family I almost. Yeah. At like 14. Yeah. Grown men from the streets and everywhere. Yeah. They coming to get haircuts from me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But they paying me now. Yeah. So then I'm like, okay, I get paid off my own time. Right, right. And I was going, I was working at Duke. I was working on Funny Man though. Yeah, yeah. You know and when you was, right. So when you was there, yeah. it just pushed you more towards. Yeah, being an entrepreneur. <laughs> right, because you <laughs> myself. <laughs> you won't, you won't, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and at first, you're thinking it's gonna be bread and you're gonna get time. <laughs> right. You work more. It don't, it don't work out <laughs> like that, do it? You work more. It, it's that you work more. Time. But I think that's when we realize how much of an asset we are and how, yeah. much, how valuable we truly are yeah. in what it is that we do, even with still kind of finding our way through it. Mm -hmm. We still know and hold our value so close. It's like I can't trade this time for money for that long. I can't yeah. afford. Could you think about it? Like, do you know what you know? You know what somebody said to me this morning, man. It, it shook my soul. <laughs> Shout out TJ. He said to me, TJ. He said, uh, he said, yeah, man. I would have called you to do some loans with me, but I seen you in your purpose, and when you in your purpose, every minute counts. That's a fact. Shit. Man, that's fact. That's listen. Fact. That man got your when best he said that, mm -hmm. yo, it shook my fucking spirit, man. That, that just touched me, yo. So, what you said just made me think of that because, okay, yeah, we'll find out our way through. Like, we're gonna, you know, we might get a part time. You might, you know, like you don't want to, you don't want to take out that minutes loan, so you need some extra yep. capital to, you know, fund our next up. Uh, business venture or you know product development project you need some extra capital to invest in that to serve for a service mm -hmm. and sometimes you know we don't want to go into debt doing it that's a fact you know mm -hmm. so it's like that's a lot of the things that are behind the scenes that we go through as entrepreneurs that people don't realize and that's why i wanted to do this entrepreneur wellness series with you for sure specifically because i always looked at you as like a professional creator thank you like you were very layered um, like, that's why I wanted to vice versa. talk to you about like your like how, how like from what you, the story you're telling now and how you got to the actual Durham apparel design. Okay. Like you started from when you was twelve, yeah, and then now we're at coming yeah. to your music. You made a jersey for yourself, yeah, and everybody was asking you about the jersey, yeah, and then so from there is that when Durham apparel started coming yeah. in, yeah, exactly when I made it. Winter came after I made the coats. Mm -hmm. Fall, winter came. I mean, after I made the jerseys, fall, winter was coming up. Right. I'm like, I'm gonna make my own coat. Yeah. Make my own coat. My boy, actually, I did a collab with my boy, my boy Joe, my mm -hmm. boy Joe Money. Mm -hmm. He got a brand. Won't he in your movie too? No. Um, nah, he won't in the movie though. But he should have been. Yeah. He should have yeah. been. Fast, <laughs> fast. <Right, that's, that's. laughs> Yeah, you're the next one, Joe. Oh God! Together. So he got a he had a um a Bull City logo that was fire, mm -hmm. and it was going crazy. Yeah, he made hats. He'll do hats. He'll do some shirts. He did you know, County Long Sleeve shirts. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's enough money for everybody. Right. So just because I make Durham apparel, don't mean the next man can't make some Durham merch, and mm -hmm. we can't get no money together. Mm -hmm. So he was doing Durham County shirts. Him and um, another dude I know, uh, Ballard, Jared Ballard, mm -hmm. they were doing um, shirts. Me and him. We was talking, we was just like, shoot, let's just do a little sample coat. Yeah. And we collab, we did a Durham Bull City coat. Because mm -hmm. he was going Bull City, and I was just doing Durham merch. Mm -hmm. Had Durham on the front with the horns. Mm -hmm. 
and that his bulls hit a little on the back. And that one was going crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't sell it. We were just, we were just rocking just it right ourselves. Just rain, uh-huh. Building our brain. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then from there, I dropped some goodies. Yeah. They sold out probably in like two days. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I knew then I needed to make merch. Yeah, that's when they, wow. You know what I'm saying? I learned from so many other entrepreneurs, though. Right. I'm watching right. people in Texas. Yeah. I'm watching people in Dagon, New Jersey. Yeah. In Atlanta. I'm looking at, they got a brand named Two Lines in Atlanta. Yeah. That's a brand named 2828 in Texas. This yeah. is about this girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, cool Kid, Cool Cop in New, uh, up there in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He got a whole, with the, with the shoes yeah. and all that. Yeah. And then, so I'm looking at these folks, and they were just, how they was dropping stuff. Mm-hmm. The girl was just focused on her pants. Yeah. And I'm like, she ain't dropping nothing. Right. Okay, that's her niche. You feel me? I need to find mine. You know what I'm saying? At the time, two lines was, they was dropping different jeans. Yes. And, you know, they you can make t-shirts, but they had their own jeans. Yes. Before it was cool to get a manufacturer. Right. And Erica, you know, that's the thing. Now. Absolutely. Get a manufacturer. And ain't nothing wrong with that, because I got a manufacturer. Yes. But yes. how you deal with your manufacturer. Absolutely. It's the key thing. Absolutely. So, and I'm looking at them, I'm like, I got to be on schedule. To have me uh, co- um, collections. I even I was watching TV shows. I learned about all this stuff. Yeah, too. yeah. I'm watching. Um, it was a little show. Um, it was a, uh, designers in a competition. Uh huh. And they were, the, the, the panelists were just telling them like, you gotta have this this certain type of collection. So you gotta do this. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, I need to do too. They talking to me. Absolutely. So I'm learning from. I'm taking the meat, leaving the bone. And every, you just you, you just said. The whole, the whole entrepreneurs are listening to what you're saying right now. You just said three key things. You said you picked up intellectual properties from other entrepreneurs. Facts. You also, um, you said another key thing, which was niche. Mm-hmm. I hope y'all are listening. Yeah, you got to niche your job. You got to. You are hitting some real key points right now in entrepreneurship. Because, um, and another thing that I noticed as you're talking is that what you did was you established hell of authority. Mm-hmm. You established your authority, tested it through your first drop with the with the Durham hoodie, yep. sold out. Then you realized the authority that you had established. Yes. Then you found your niche. Mm-hmm. I hope y'all listening to this. Mm-hmm. This is literally the blueprint to getting and finding yourself through business. That's why I feel like building a business is really building a life. If mm-hmm. you really want to get into this, because this is your life. I also noticed too with establish your authority was through your other creative endeavors. Yeah. Your that other creative gifts. It's, it's, it's huge. You found that through going through your creative side. Yeah. Like um just expressing yourself. Like you just being a creative puts you in a position to establish the the authority to develop the product yep. to sell out of it and then find your niche with Facts. what we see now. Facts. That's amazing, man. I hope like that's I feel like that's the whole blueprint with being an entrepreneur is what mm-hmm. you just laid out. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying? Well, you take that and you, bro, you gonna, you gonna add what you add to your sauce or anything anyway. Mm-hmm. But if you, like you said, you learn the intellectual property, you build some book, or you, oh, you go. Oh, I forgot too. And you took on mentors. Mm-hmm. You took on distant mentors. Back to, well, I think I might have said it at the beginning, but I didn't, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss that. You, and that, and that, that's another thing too. We can't do this on our own. Like, we mm-hmm. have to be open to, you got to learn and study. And we ain't even got to the spiritual part. Yeah. We ain't even got to the spiritual part. Because I'm going to tell you. I'm that's that's what I wanted to ask. Me. That's the most important question I wanted okay. to ask you, is how spiritual has this been for you? And <laughs> let me give my boy a shout out, too, though, as far as a mentor in the clothing game. Uh, my boy, Reese. Reese. Uh, uh, and Coach. Yeah, Reese. Coach oh, yeah. Co- oh, yeah. yeah I, used go, I used to go and sit, shout sit out with Reese. my boy, and we used to talk about all this stuff. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Now, I had my business and stuff going already, but he had already been established in the game. Yeah, you yeah. know. So being able to just have somebody you can go talk to about stuff, and he like high quality stuff. Yeah. So I know I can pull up on him with something I got. He gonna keep it real with me. Yes. And that's so and vice versa. So having that relationship with somebody who in the same city mm-hmm. who already in that industry. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was he was a. Uh, like a mentor at the time, but any with any questions I had, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it showed, it showed. <laughs> shout out to Reese too. I had some of his family actually buy uh, some products from me while I was vending that. Shout out to Reese and yeah, his family. So I had some yeah, man, for sure. Nah, that means a lot though. You actually had like a personal uh, 
connection with somebody that was actually in the field. Mm -hmm. It's showing, man. Um, that means that means a whole lot. I um, I can't say that I even had that. That means a lot, and that means a lot that you just shot it because like that's that's just it's, it's, yeah, sometimes it's real stuff. Sometimes it's you know it's yeah like I, I didn't ha I didn't have I wish I did uh, the field that I. That, that I do with personal development, herbal, herbal care, and like um, what I'm doing with wellness, unfortunately, it's not a lot of, I had to go outside of my demographic to find those inter, those uh, inter, uh, internet mentors. Yeah. I like See, but what you're doing is, you're gonna become a mentor for people. You're yeah. leading the way in this area for this type of stuff. Like, you, what you're doing, you have, you you have to take the leap that other people can't take. Yeah, you gonna you gonna be the you gonna get crucified for stuff that now you will open up the pathway up for others to yeah. be able to be free. Right, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And think about how like when you know how it is and you make life change. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The people yeah. around you change. Yeah, they, you, you ain't got the same amount of people around you that was around you before. The, you know now you are around more accountable people too. Absolutely. So now. They hold you accountable, and now you getting better as well because you change your circle, you change your life. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. Nah, you right. That's that's you talking to my soul right now, bro. Because uh, yeah, I appreciate that, what that, you're doing though in the community. Though. I nah, really do. I, I, man, thank you. Thank you know you, what I'm saying? Man. Your book was your book, bro. Listen, when bro put me on your book and the stuff that was in your book, I'm like, bro, I'm on it. Thank you, man. We had plenty of conversations when you ain't around mm -hmm. saying the same stuff, like. Bro, doing some big stuff. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? We need to get with bro. Yeah. And whatever mission he on, be a resource to help push his mission too, because it's yeah. big for the community. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so do. we on the same way. That's why I said it's big that we gotta be in unison doing stuff together because yeah. Yeah. you know it's only gonna help our community out. And that's and we had urban community. community. Key word. Key word, community. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Key word. That's what that right there, that's man. You know? That's what that's what uh man, being community minded, you know, by the way we've been conditioned it can be difficult. Yeah. That's why it's so important what you said, man. Absolutely. It's it means like so let's talk about that. Like that that's that's gonna lead into for we for we end for we end it for the next one, because yeah. I gotta stay tuned for the next one. Facts. Is how much how how spiritual has this journey been for you? Very. Um it's taxing, man, on your on your on, on you physically. Yeah. You know, and mentally. Yeah. So, I when they say having an entrepreneur, you gotta have an entrepreneurial spirit for real. Mm -hmm. They mean that because, and that ain't just in the sense of you working. Yeah. That's yeah. in the sense of you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. That's in the sense of being holistically ready. Yes. You know what I'm saying. Being yeah. able to say, hey, I'm a, I'm gonna manage my time keep my health correct. Yeah. I'm gonna manage my time. I, I even though I'm working, I'm gonna do a balance that yeah. with you know yeah. you know, with my life. What kind of conversations with God have you had? Every day I talk, <laughs> bro, listen, I had a conversation with God this morning. You know, um bro you gotta understand like <laughs> it's it's crazy because I don't even call it prayer because I talk to him mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Um and like I'm not a big religious person anyway but I know I'm I'm talking to my high power. You right. feel what I'm saying? That's a um, so I love that. I mean, I get I hop anytime. As soon as I wake up, mm -hmm. before I close my eyes, mm -hmm. appreciate you letting me make it through this day. Thank you for getting me here through another one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I hop in the shower anytime. You know what I tell myself anytime I don't feel like doing something. Be consistent. Yeah. Because you can't ask for that from the high power to be consistent in your life if you ain't consistent in your own life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So having having that as a fellow shield, knowing that my higher power with me on this journey. Yeah. And I had to learn in this entrepreneurial joint that, you know, have to have a spirit of stuff ain't happening to you, stuff happening for you. Yeah. Have some patience. Just because it ain't happening when you want it to, don't mean stuff ain't working in your favor. Mm -hmm. You might think you're missing out on something. Yeah. And you weren't supposed to be there at that time. Something better finna come for you. Yeah. And I had to learn that and just be consistent through all, through all the times, whether you're low or high. Be consistent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that man upstairs working. Yeah. He on your behalf. You still here. As long as I get up and I get a chance to get to it every day, that man on my side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely, man. Damn. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, so and how, emotionally so I, I have I have to have a talk to to my high power. Because you get down some days, you know what I'm saying? You might be dolo. 
and feel like the world against you. Mm-hmm. Until you be like, dang, I got so much to be grateful so much, for. Yes, yeah. There is no spiritual ascension without emotional ascension. For sure. For sure. That's the key. Yeah. The, emo- the emotional mm-hmm. level of yeah. entrepreneurship is probably one of the most difficult things I've had to deal with. Me too. But uplifting at the same time. You're the most vulnerable. Uplifting at the same time. I've been, yeah, vulnerability, understanding like that of, of unwavering self confidence that you have to develop. Yep. The learning of new things about yourself that you didn't know. <laughs> Boy, that's every day now. That you never knew. Never. Well, listen, I just told my listen. I mean, I mentor people too. My youngest, I get, I be dropping gems on them when I can. You know, what I'm saying, especially I don't hold no information. Yeah. I tell them one thing, bro. Keep learning about yourself. I'm still finding out who I am to this day. You know what I'm saying? And the more open and vulnerable I am, the more open I am to learning who I really am. You feel what I mean? Because what happened to us is we think because we live a certain way to survive that that's who we are. That ain't who you is. That's how you survive. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? And then so when you look at yourself, you be like, nah, I do like that. Mm. Just because it ain't in my survival mode path on how I operate, don't mean I don't like that. You know what I mean? So yeah. For real, for real. All right, man. That's that. That right there, man. That that's that's enough for the day. That, <laughs> that was that was. Yo, now nah, you got me over here thinking. You got me. You got my mind going, provoking a lot of thought, man. And um, same man. Grateful to be here, man. It's uh, me too, bro. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurial wellness, man. We're, we're doing the series, Derm Apparel, Supreme Well Being, Plant Based Waste. We will be consistently doing these. Uh, vlogs or episodes or whatever it is that you want to call them, we're just trying to service. So yeah. whatever you want to yeah. call it and label it, it doesn't matter. As long as we make sure that we're designing our own labels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's all. Yeah. That is the goal. So um, peace and wellness to the family. Man. Peace, fam. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that was love, man. Thank you. Yeah, we gonna we gonna keep this rolling. All right.